As the open command is given from the driving panel, the open command comes to the door control unit or the DCU. As soon as the command reaches the DCU, the door lock system unlocks the door via the solenoid. The solenoid operates the center hook which unlocks the lock switch like this. Now the door is unlocked and ready to open. Then the DCU gives command to the motor. The motor then starts rotating and transfers power to spindle shaft via the transmission pulley and the transmission belt. The spindle shaft is connected to the two door leaves through the two drive brackets and the spindle nut. As the spindle shaft begins to rotate, this spindle nut converts the rotary motion of the motor into the linear motion for door movement. The door starts opening now. As soon as the door starts opening, the close switch gets opened. The motor assembly is provided with an encoder which is responsible for counting pulses. This encoder commands the motor to stop the door opening when the doors reach their fully open position that is 1360 millimeters. The door is now open.